Right. But to have an initial meeting, I mean, you could still hit before harvest if you ask them now. Right? Yeah, but if you ask, you know, what I'm saying is, I think it's going to, we, we can we could suggest to have a meeting, but I think it needs to be, like the meeting we had here last summer, it's, you know, it, it, was, it was very informative, but we need to have meetings close together with that. I mean, I think we can get some people to come and say. Right, know, they had them like three weeks apart last fall. Yeah. So that's just my opinion. Just with the new guy, I thought it'd be good to have them, you know, review it. And I mean, the guys can all start reviewing on their own that's in their true. free time that's true. to bring yeah. stuff to the meeting. It's just if you want to wait till December, then you're pushing everything back till next spring. And without having any solar ordinance, they're pretty much free for all for whatever they want. They don't need to have building permits since there's no ordinance saying they need they, to. They can't do anything. It's like having a moratorium. It's why they're See, I'm not sure how much I believe that. Based on stuff I've heard in other counties. But have you, have you know it for a fact? No, but... Because I've been told. Okay. I've been told. It's because I suggested earlier, maybe we should just put a moratorium on for a year. And I would like to do that, too. But, and, you know, I guess we still could. Mm -hmm. Because I think we've got enough going on. I think that would cover you guys to, you know, absolutely be sure. I think that'd be a good plan. Yeah, I just... I, I, And then that would give them time to, to look it over, especially with your new administrator, and um, then have the farmers more involved like you want. I know we already have our first draft out there, but yeah, I think the zoning depart the zoning commission would be a great resource to have help you through your second draft, especially with the, since so. Carlton's gone now. But yeah, more term would be a great idea. I'd be in favor of that. Well, that's that's just my opinion. I think because I think there's so many there's so many things if if you if you don't. I have people telling me they don't want the CSR ratings to be involved. I have people that say they do. Okay. Uh, I've got people that say they want restrictions. I've got people that say they want in. So the people that are telling you they don't want CSR ratings involved, there's only one person that came to that, that public, that town meeting that, that said anything like that that wasn't hired for them so were they just unavailable to come to that meeting or they didn't want to be involved in a public meeting i i can't answer that okay. um i can't answer i mean csr i mean that's just either if the town if, if the county wants them or we don't you know what i mean well the, you know the idea is protecting the good land well, well then the other problem is but, your lower csr is all the hills near cloutier and vining that has the lower CSR because it's hilly and it has a lot of trees, but you don't want to ruin that either and deforest half the county. I, I think, think a moratorium would give you time to have the, the board look it over and then still have you legally covered. I think that'd be a great idea. I don't know how long this, this first reading or the first, yeah. first ordinance is good for them. I, you know, there's not much in that that needs fixed. I, you know, we were, very, we were really happy with that. When I was pretty happy with it, but I, then I got calls and Bill said uh, we have the lower CSR rating. Well, I still feel, I mean, you guys know my opinion. I've sent in a couple things. I still feel there are a lot of things that could have been added just to clarify because it seemed very vague in places. And you, you don't want to be vague when you're talking about our land, you know, and our, our land use. So, right. I mean, either way, you'd want to kind of clear it up so there's no, not as much ambiguity. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's got to be kept up or finalized. And yeah. Because you know, uh, guy, it, there, there's kind of regulations right now now of separation distances between between the uh, you know, the, the solar. But uh, it to me, it's just it's going to be it, it just can't it can't be decided in a half hour meeting. Right. So would would you guys consider moving forward with putting the moratorium on an agenda soon? Yeah, I, or would that I, have to wait till December also? I don't know. I, when I'd like to wait. Because I can harvest, request that too. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd, wait, I'd like to wait till after harvest and get more people involved. Because if we wait too long because you want people involved, they could start building. I mean, they can't, they can't, you know, they can't build. A good, any lawyer would probably argue your lawyer's point. I mean, any, anything is arguable by lawyers. Well, 
if we wait if we wait too long, they're going to claim vested rights or something, and then it, that would override whatever whatever we've got for an ordinance but, or but in process. I, I do think, you know, I do think we need to get that that ordinance up and running, but it's going to be hard in order to find middle ground with people. That's um. Yeah. You're not going to make everybody happy. That's right. But, you know, it has to be some kind of... Right. You know, it has to be, well, you know, we want CSR. We want. Me as a farmer, there's a lot of questions about that. If you, if you don't regulate this and you let entire farms go in, I, don't, I heard, I don't know what they pay in it, but I think it drives price of land. Oh, it's there. terrible. It'll... it'll yeah, I mean that's my fear. Oh, absolutely. As a farmer, you know, and I think every farmer ought to feel that way because they they're really going to make competition for land. Well, and I still think losing land to solar, losing ag land, it's going to drop prices of of uh, crops because right now they're already saying the price drops are due to uh, exports going through uh, South America because uh, there's there's it's cheaper down there and they have more available. I think if we lose more ag land, we're going to lose more exports to South America too. I don't think that would happen. I don't think that would pay anybody really. Okay. Really. Just another factor to consider, I guess. But. Well, you know, the, the yields vary so much from year to year, and you know, we we either export or or make up an all out of half our corn. You know, so there's there's one in there. I don't know. It's it's. I just really scratch my head and think how is every other farmer going to try to make it down. And if you got any ideas, I'm sure we'll be listening. Well, at least solar's going to have a little more middle ground than wind, since nobody on the zoning board's got any solar easements. So that's helpful. But with having two people on the board now with with wind easements, that makes it not very non biased, <laughs> like you guys were looking for. So I'm not sure how that's. Fair, but oh, is that mine? I don't. Oh, well, I mean, if you want to just be yours, sure. Doug, Doug, wait. Right. They're both pretty much anti land. Right. Okay, so but you, so but the two people with wind easements can't vote on anything related to wind ordinances. So now you're down to your three people for voting on those anyway, because they would have a clear conflict of interest, a monetary clear conflict of interest. Those other two so folks with easements. I, I I just I think short we need to mix. Yeah, right. I went down okay. to Austin and watched my next play. Uh, Saturday. Well, I still think you could have found a pro person that didn't have an easement. I mean, wasn't that part of your interview process was to ask about bias? Yeah, one of them's got a signed wind easement. You didn't know that? Oh, okay. Uh, the, the lady. Yeah. She still, in the interview, said she could be in it. She looked both sides of the room. Right. But she's also getting paid to to have favorable wind. You know, she'd be getting paid if she had favorable wind ordinances. To me, I think it's fair to have people that are pro and people that are Right, I can see that. That's where you're going to find your middle ground. But she can't vote because she's got a conflict of interest. So then you're losing her anyway, right? I don't know if that's true or not. Well, you. I mean, I saw the the. The ISU Ag uh, website, Ag Decision Maker, they've got the, the extension office has that pre-voting checklist that. for, for <gasps> conflict of I interest. Got another win and I, nice. I saw that nice. some of your applicants had that from their interview. And so that would include any voting on the zoning board. Mm -hmm. That would be their conflict of interest. It wouldn't, it would be voting for, for any ordinance changes. That would be a vote and that would be a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. with, Having a monetary you know, stake in it, third, so that would be something they should recuse themselves from because of that conflict. Good night for us. Good night for okay, yeah, but I, 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 I think no damage. Think that's the best thing. Because of Doug's feelings, and I think I think Doug's kind of just my personal opinion. I think he's anti-land, but but I think he he is. I think he's fair about looking at what it is for for both what, sides, despite his personal opinion. So. So, you know, but he also right. doesn't have a monetary stake in it either. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you can be a little more fair when you're not having um, money pull at you. I, I, I don't know. Well, I think I, 
I think what we did is a fair way of handling it. I still think it was wrong that you did not follow the gender balance because it. Oh. Well, and then the, ne the next the next week you go and say, well, we have to follow the code strictly. It's like, well, you don't care about it the week before when you're we, skipping the gender balance. I want a chair like this. At the end of the talk. Right, but you're still not balanced. Well, no. There's a lot of a lot of them. Yeah, they mean to run you over. But yeah. what we decided was what we thought was right. And uh, yeah, there again, you know, I think oh. I think we got a good summary. Well, I think the gentleman would have been great if he would have replaced Craig since, but, you know, because I, I still think having somebody on the zoning board with a Wendy'sman is a conflict of interest, so I think that would have been a problem. But Craig shouldn't have, Craig shouldn't have been reappointed anyway because it says you can't reappoint someone if you're not gender balanced. The, uh, the heads, well, that things come off. I mean, we have them too. Well, I mean, the code's pretty clear, and, and you had some. I don't think we're broken the codes, you know? So... I'm I not saying I didn't want to do that, right? right. <laughs> I did a. But well, we need fresh build. I did a five, uh, five timer once in a hobby stock years ago, and that didn't have any. Yeah, I still don't think the the gender people. balance code yeah, where it says you have three months to. You know, if you can't find a woman in three months, it's not if you can't find a woman you don't like. It's if you can't find a woman at all and you have some. So I think that's where I, I'm catching on, on the the disagreement there. Yeah. My shoulder, if 